Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card for photo play using a cute little stamp set called Bugs and Kisses. Spring is in the air. I'm so ready for spring and this little stamp set is just adorable. It has birds and bugs and branches. And so we are going to go ahead and create a fun spring themed card. Such cute little images in here, and I think they're perfect for springtime, which is around the corner. Um, there is a coordinating die set that we'll be using also for our project today. So we are going to start off by doing a little bit of stamping. I have my stamping positioner here, and we are going to take um, the mushroom with a little bug, the little flying bug, and then also the little caterpillar. There's a cloud in the stamp set. We're going to stamp that along with the tree branch. I love scene building and I'm super excited about this stamp set. I scoot the cloud over just a little bit because we're going to stamp one more cloud in that open area. I'm stamping on alcohol marker friendly cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Um, this way I can use my Copic markers to color in my images. Let's ink up our images, stamp them, and they are so cute. These little uh, buggy eyed critters just make you smile. I'm going to Scoot over my cloud and stamp that one more time, and then we are going to color in our images. Now I left the coloring in. I do speed up the videos while I color, but for those of you who do use Copic markers, I did list the colors up in the top right corner for you guys, um, so you know what colors that I did use. But I like to play a little bit of music while I color, kind of give you a little bit of relaxing when the video sped up, <laughs> but when I'm done coloring, I will get you right back. Okay, coloring is all done. Now we are going to go ahead and take our coordinating Bugs and Kisses die set. We're going to separate them and die cut out all of our cute little images. Um, you can see I chose some really bright colors, some pinks and purples and orange for those cute little bugs. Um, I thought it would be perfect for a fun springtime card. We're going to line these up and run these through our die cutting machine, set them aside, and now we're going to work on our background scene building. We are going to start by doing a little bit of ink blending with a stencil. We're going to be using the Grass Edger stencil. We have a piece of white cardstock here. This is a mini slimline size and I believe it's six and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And we're going to make a landscape mini slimline card. The stencil again is called Grass Edger. And there's some two different styles of grass. I'm using the kind of like the bubble looking grass versus the sharp pointed one. 
and I'm just using my blending brush and some Distress Oxide ink. This is tumbled, um, actually I take, take that back, this is Twisted Citron. I added one layer and then we're going to go ahead and bring in a darker green ink. This is uh, Mode Lawn. I'm going to shift my stencil over just a little bit and I don't mind that there's still ink on my stencil and it kind of helps with the blending, but we're going to add a little bit of a darker grassy area just above it. I like doing this because it kind of gives it a 3D dimensional look. And then um, that little haze above the grassy border just kind of looks like it's fading out. I'm going to use my blending brush and just continue blending on that bottom area. You can see I have a little bit of that green smudge. No worries, we're going to fix that because in the stencil there's some separate little blades of grass. We're going to add some just to add a little bit of height to our greenery. We'll just ink these up and I think that looks great. We're going to add one over here to the right and then that little smudge I have on the bottom, even though it might be covered with my frame, I'm going to go ahead and take another one of those smaller blades of grass and just ink it up with my mowed lawn and cover that up. Easy fix. So we have a fun little scene so far. Now our sky is white, so we are going to add a little bit of color using some blue Distress Oxide. This is called Salty Ocean. And I'm going to heavily ink up the top of my panel and then we're going to kind of fade out just so about maybe a half of an inch from the bottom, maybe three quarters of an inch from the bottom, you'll have that white showing, but the rest will be blue. And I'm not concerned about it um, blending together. I kind of like the heavier spots versus the lighter spots um, because this way kind of creates a nice little airy, cloudy look. Once I'm happy with this, we're gonna clean the work surface. And I like to go one step further and bring in a little bit of texture to my background. So I'm bringing in the PhotoPlay uh, Ditsy Grid background stamp. Um, I'm inking it up, keeping it on the plastic. I'll just ink up the top area of my Ditsy Grid with Versamark ink, and then I'll place my panel with the cloudy side on the top. Press down really good, just so we have some ditzy grid in the cloud area. Now when I did this, it basically created a strip so I have some really sharp edges. I'm gonna fix that in just a minute. I'm gonna take some white embossing powder. We're gonna go over, and you wanna make sure that you, you do treat your paper with your anti-static powder tool, otherwise you're gonna get embossing powder everywhere with that Distress Oxide ink. Now we're getting rid of all of the sharp edges just using a paintbrush. Um, and I'm going inside the upper area of our stamped area just to make it holy almost. <laughs> I like doing this because one, it adds texture, two, it brings more white to our background, but I just don't want those sharp edges of those squares. So a paintbrush will help soften those edges. Once I'm happy, um, of course you have the left and the right. I'm not too concerned about that. That's gonna be covered with a frame. But I heat set my white embossing powder and I'm loving the way this looks. It just adds uh, more white to your cloudy area. Now we're gonna bring in a die set. This is called the Rectangle Windows. And I'm taking the window die and some white cardstock. We're gonna die cut out a three-paned window. And this will fit perfectly, leaving a little bit of a border on your mini slimline. And the size that I'm using for the slimline is the size that PhotoPlay sells. They actually sell the slimline, uh, slimline card bases. Um, and I'll list them down below, but so it's again, six and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. Um, and the panel will just be slightly smaller than that. I'm also taking one of the banners from the build a window die set. That's gonna f uh, fit my sentiment beautifully. I die cut that out with white cardstock. And now I'm going to add a little adhesive to the right side of my window. We're going to take our tree branch, tuck it from the outside underneath that right edge. So the tree branch is going over the top, but tucked in on underneath on the right. I like doing this, it just adds a little bit of interest. I'm going to actually add a little more adhesive underneath this branch so it stays put. And then we'll flip it around and I'm going to add some foam tape behind the entire background. If you want to turn this into a shaker card too, you guys, you could. I'm going to remove the release paper off of my three paned window and then we'll go ahead and add this to our panel. 
and I love the playful look of this. I just think it calls for spring. <laughs> we have snow over here, so spring is nice. Now we have all of our cute little bugs and clouds. We're gonna start off by adding some foam adhesive behind our cloud here. I wanted this cloud to be overhanging on our on the outside of our frame. So we'll pop this up with a foam square, place this to the left, and then we'll add our second cloud, um, just adding adhesive directly underneath it. Next, we're gonna add all of our little critters. The one on the mushroom will be on the far right. Our little uh, caterpillar will be on that top branch. And then our little flying bug will be all the way to the left. I went ahead and stamped my sentiment. I stamped it in that banner we created with our build a window uh, banner. And then this one is gonna go um, just above our grassy area there. We're gonna pop it up with foam adhesive. I don't need to add foam adhesive all the way to the left because that's gonna overhang on the frame portion. We'll just add a little adhesive. After we have our scene then, I did take a piece of some yellow cardstock to brighten it up a little bit more. We're gonna directly place this on our mini slimline card base. And then once we have this adhered, we'll flip over our window pane panel, add adhesive behind here. This is going to go in the center of our yellow panel. And then now all we have to do is add some bells and whistles. Now, the little eye eyes of the little bug that's on the mushroom are so cute. And I, I immediately thought of googly eyes. So that's what we're going to add. Some little small googly eyes to that little bug. So we have a little motion there. And I do want to add a little bit of sparkle. So I'm bringing in some... Um, white toned gems, I should say, and then we're going to add just a few for a little bit of sparkle in a bit. I want to add some more to our little tray. And there's some smaller ones in there that I want to add, so we're just going to glue down a few of our, our little gems. And then that will finish off my card today using the Photo Plays Bugs and Kisses stamp set. So cute, so fun, and the birdies in there are just as cute, guys. But I thank you so much for joining me. Have a, oh, you know what? I need to clean up my mushroom. I got a little bit of my Copic marker on the inside of the white area of the mushroom. So using a white gel pen helps clean that up. But have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. We will see you soon for another card project for PhotoPlay. Have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.